I'm still smiling, y'all. <laughs> Man, they so patty, patty, patty. I just wonder how. We back. Yep, we back. We back down. 30 rounds. Uh, the message is going to get out one way or another. Whether you like it or not, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Uh, with that being said, let me make sure I hit everybody. Let them know we back down, man. I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder who. I wonder how. But when motherfucker riding your collar, riding your backbone, riding your backbone, I mean, when you, when you ask motherfuckers to move around, Lee alone, I, I don't understand why they don't get it. I really don't. I'm getting reported again. <laughs> Damn. Why? I ain't even see a shit yet. Hit them like buttons, y'all. Hit them like buttons. That way, they'll know we here. And stop uh, letting them bullshit ass uh, complaints go through. Check over here too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Force going down. Okay. Goddess, what up? Uh, see some people. Saw that interruption that we had earlier. I hope uh, they back and see that we back down. Jealousy, like I was saying, man, is a, is a weak emotion. I'm on my uh, my fourth channel. Every time I interview uh, Don Russell, uh, the manager of Uncle Rob, uh, in some capacity, uh, and a friend to Uncle Rob, People get very uh, wet in the booty. Uh, we know the bozo gets wet in the booty. Jealousy, uh, as I keep saying, is a weak emotion. And then the, the crazy thing is people uh, do this, this takedown stuff. And as soon as they done with the takedown goofy, goofiness, they... Uh, change the narrative. I try to change the narrative into something that has already been previously proven here at the Enterprise. So I hope everybody know that I'm back. I hate when people say that I didn't know you came back again and again and again. But if you're a real Kel Stepper, then you should know Debowski ain't finna go until he say what the fuck he got to say every motherfucking time. And that's the bottom motherfucking line. Uh, make sure I hear everybody. Okay. Okay. I go spread the word. Because I know I ain't hear everybody again. I know I didn't. But I tried to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely tried to. What's all this stuff going in? Okay. Yeah, so the frame race back. I think we back down. So, yeah. 100 devices, y'all. 100 devices, you know? 
Uh, I'm pretty sure people ain't getting their uh, notifications or anything else to silence us because they know how we move. They know how we get down. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be a good show today, even though they're trying to stand in our way. Let's not forget that uh, the, the, the uh, hold on. I am my Bella. Welcome back to the enterprise. Uh, let's not forget that uh, I have a second and a third channel now. Uh, this is going to be the first one. So, yeah, I come on here in the daytime. At 9 o'clock, you will see a video premiere on this channel of the recap with Don Russell that was taken down uh, with along with other videos. And then on my second channel, I will be on there at 11 in the morning. So look, check it out. This is how it's going to go down. I'm going to be on this channel, real live action, right? And then on my second channel, you can catch uh, videos that have been deleted. And on my third channel, you can catch the same uh, so that way, uh, the Bolski is on the internet throughout the day, Bozo, throughout the day. So everything that I have ever did, I was able to obtain it back, and I'm going to be releasing them slowly throughout. So if you're not familiar or you don't know, you will, because as I just tried to explain, I'll be on here in the day, uh, DJ Tyson, uh, footage will be premiering at eight and then I'm going on at nine and then you can catch me in the morning time on the links that's in the description and I will be back on at 11 uh, followed by me back on here in reality at two uh, taking it down so if people ain't there for the live they can catch it on the next channel uh, whenever Bozo or anybody else is on basically uh, deep on it the, the YouTube. That's that's what I'm about to do. Since they act like they can stop me. Uh, yeah. Three pages, maybe four more to come. And all my videos will be playing throughout the day at different times. Damn near everywhere. Watch. I'm even going to put the shit in fucking uh, Italy YouTube, Chinese YouTube, all this shit. I really am. So listen, y'all. Be sure to uh, click on every link in my description because it will be videos being released throughout the whole day. Yeah, and when my videos ain't playing, uh, DJ Tyson videos will be playing throughout the whole day, y'all. So we get to spend morning together when you're going to work, get your little twerk on, and we can spend midday together in reality and we can spend nighttime together as well and that's how we're gonna be coming with it man throughout throughout the duration so uh be sure now at this point you're going to have to uh uh at this point you're going to have to uh uh at this point, you're going to have to uh, subscribe to every damn page because it's going to be eventful and I'm going to be popping up on certain pages, uh, showing shit that ain't never showing because you're never going to be knowing where I'm going to be popping up at. So the best thing to do is to be subscribed to all of them. Uh, with that being said, Enterprise, where you at, where you at? Welcome on back to the Chitty Chat Chat. Honey devices, grab one around you and subscribe again to the Enterprise. Let's get back up, y'all. Go to work.
Drop them links, T, for all the channels. Segregation, peacemaking, underrated, and rights taken. Hit them like buttons. Hit them like buttons, y'all. To the enterprise uh you know you're gonna have to get your hands dirty right you have to get your hands dirty around here you have to get your hands dirty hey little mac welcome back as you know we are constantly on the run from informants uh yeah yeah uh so, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the backup page because this page right here, we're going to treat it like this. Everybody subscribe. I'm almost to a thousand already. Uh, I'm at fucking 978 or something like that. Boom. We're going to get this one monetized. So when I go live on this, I'm going to take the video down and I'm going to upload it in the other channel. And on the third channel, all the works that they took from me, I will be uploading whenever they dumbass uh, is on their live, uh, even thinking about getting on it. Uh, even if I got a whiff of it. So basically, I will be on, it's going to be one show in the morning, one in the evening, one at night. Every day, y'all. 30 motherfucking rounds, for real, of the trio. Uh, so make sure you have subscribed to every Debolsky, uh channel. Hey, James, hold on, partner. Hold on, partner. Hold on, partner. Hold on, partner. Where you at with it? Where you go? Where you go? I don't see you in there, but I know you're in there. See if I can update and that. On the third channel. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, James. It's a dirty game, though, you know? It's a dirty game. But at the end of the day, I'm only going to get better. Blue skies, how you feeling? I see you, James. Welcome back to the Enterprise. You already know how this go. I came on the internet telling y'all we on the run from informants. I didn't know 
Some of them is on the internet too. Yeah. Some on uh, on the fucking internet too, looking like me and you. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Miss Blunt, you give me all day. Yellow Michelle, you give me all day, y'all. D, all day. Talk about morning, noon, night. So click your notification, because this channel, I will be back on at 9. And make sure you don't subscribe to DJ Tyson, because he's going to be on at 8. And I will be back again at 11, I mean at 10 in the morning, uh, Chicago time, and then back again uh, sometime between 1 and 3. And probably back again that night at 9. So yeah, daytime show 1 to 3, uh, nighttime recap at 9, followed by whatever happened in the daytime being re-uploaded on the third channel. So if you're not here with the live action, you might Miss it. You know how this go. Uh, yeah. Some crazy stuff going on here uh, that I'm feeling with Uncle Rob being in solitary confinement. Uh, Robert Sylvester Kelly has been in solitary confinement for over 30 days. Uh, solitary confinement can have certain effects on the mind. Uh, they really can drive a person insane truly uh don't forget about your loved ones that may be in that jam because uh they may need you i mean they may they may actually really need you so did i hit everybody yeah, i think i did I thought I did. I see I see I missed a few people. Let me, let me resend that out. Yeah, y'all, they've been uh interrupting, trying to destroy uh what we're working on here as far as digging in the wormhole. However, we will continue to dig and uncover the lies. And make sure the public gets the truth. I understand it's a dirty game. I also understand that it comes with the territory. So did I hear everybody? Did I hear everybody? 100 devices, y'all. 100 devices. Cut Debosky on on every device. Subscribe to Debosky on every device that you come across. You know, I know we got a good number of devices in this joint joint. We got a good number of devices in this joint joint. A good number of devices. Uh, however, I will do my best to make sure that I protect all well-known enterprise members in the information that we swap at all times. Once again, please understand, this is a dirty game and we are on the run from informants. And please know, some of these people in this situation, in my opinion, are well-known informants. Now, I think, because I thought, you know, you get tired of uh, sending that, re that recall on the back call side, but it is necessary because some people tell me that they uh, don't even see my... Uh, my channel so it's good to have uh people info that way i can send you that back call and you could be in the building for all the propaganda and shenanigans okay did i hit everybody did i hit everybody Man, this 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 damn bat line is deep. Okay. All right. So y'all ready to start the show? Cause I don't want to have to, you know, I'm trying to make sure that 
everybody was on deck. Oh, I hope I ain't text no, no, no creeps by mistake. Uh, yeah. So, yes, Robert Sylvester Kelly has been in confinement over, uh, solitary confinement over 30 days. Yes. And I want to walk you through, uh, what it could be like. For the past 15 years, life for inmate Jeremy Beasley has been simple and stark. 22 and a half hours locked alone in a windowless cell. Then for about 90 minutes, he's moved into a concrete pen without windows. Beasley is one of more than a thousand inmates who live in these conditions at Pelican Bay State Prison, California's highest security lockup. I haven't had human contact with anybody without being in chains since 2004. Um, the conditions back here are horrible. You don't get no sunlight. You don't get no, uh, um, uh, the only exercise is, is, is a walk on the yard, which I don't know if you've seen the yards yet. And, and now we get a, a stupid handball to throw around the wall. And it's, you know, it's fun for the first 10 minutes when you're out there by yourself. It's a new little toy. But like with any new, new, new toy, you get bored of it real quick. You know, I've seen guys lose their minds back here. I've seen guys change. I've changed back here, you know what I mean? I became angry, I became bitter. Um, it's, uh, um, and, and even my thought process now is, um, is, is way different from what it was. You know what I mean? I wasn't a saint before, you know what I mean? And to tell you the truth, I don't know how I'm gonna react with people when I get out there. I believe that, you know, certain people should be isolated. I believe looking, you know, um, I'm seeing things a little bit different now. Um, well, even, even back then, I mean, I, I, I kind of see how CDC has isolated for, for who we were, what we've done. But without no sunlight, without going years with no sunlight, going years in, in, in the isolation, I've seen guys that they, they ch you know, everybody changes in, in a certain way. I've seen guys that, that pull into themselves. I've seen guys that, you know, hear things that ain't there. I've seen guys that, uh, that, uh, uh, um, you know, anger issues, that's one of the biggest things about being back here is, is the anger issues, and, and I have that. Um, you know, I, I, get, I get angry at, at a drop of a hat for no reason at all, you know, and, and I was never like that until after five, six years back here. It would be nice to look outside. It would be nice to look out a window and and see uh, uh, and see uh, you know the outside. That would be nice. Um, what was the last time you saw the moon? The moon? Oh, I don't. I don't even know. It would have to have been back in 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 ninety eight. Nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, nineteen ninety eight at the very least. Yeah. Stars. Same. Stars. I haven't seen stars since I came to prison. Crazy. You, you would 
be nice to look out. Crazy, ain't it? Be nice to look out a window and and see. Uh, Crazy. Got that man in there like that. Stars. And make sure that uh that we still on on track. Got that man in there like that. Mm -mm. Crazy. Uh Y'all see DJ Tyson in the chat? Subscribe. You see the link in my backup chat? Subscribe. Hey, you got my third channel and all that in the description? How many channels I got now? What about the second one? So I got three? No, Okay. Subscribe to the backup channel. <clears throat> Subscribe to the backup channel. Uh, I got a video, backup video premiering over there at uh, 10 in the morning. So y'all can catch me in the morning time too. You know what I mean? And uh, I got another one coming on this channel uh, with Don Russell, The Muscle, at 9. And I'm going to make a third channel where y'all can catch me over there too. So that way, hey, small fry. Check it out in case you missed it. I'm going to be on this channel in real time. And then, you know, when I have to light some shit up because they, you know, be playing games, I'm going to take that down, put it in the third channel. And on the second channel, I'm going to always be releasing videos I was able to obtain back today. So, yeah, we're going to basically be on the Internet all motherfucking day but yeah uncle rob has been in solitary confinement over 30 days now in stateville intake as you heard uh g money come in here and told y'all mm -hmm. i might drop that video uh, in the morning, when G Money came in here and talked about what's going down uh, in the prison systems, I might drop that in the morning on my backup channel. So subscribe to the backup, y'all, and subscribe to this one. We almost had a thousand uh, very quickly, to my amazement, after being taken down uh, just yesterday. Uh, now, when you are in solitary confinement, it can drive the mind crazy. It really can. Uh, I have seen it happen myself. With that being said, I hate to tell you more about the craziness of this shit, but I have to. What do you do past counting all the bricks in the walls? I didn't read every story that's been on the walls. I didn't look at every crack. I stare at the paint so much I can see the paint strokes in it. I'm so bored in my bed that I just sit there and squeeze my body besides all the inanimated fantasies of murdering the CEO who's at my door every day harassing me. This is Five Mualim Ak. He served 12 years in prison before getting out in 2012. Five of those in total were spent in solitary confinement, which is used in prisons across the country as a form of punishment and as a means of keeping dangerous inmates away from the general population. Five writes about his experience in solitary in a new book called Hell is a Very Small Place, which is composed of essays by people who have been in solitary or are still in solitary now. For most of us, spending 23 hours a day in a room by ourselves is unimaginable. For people like Five and his friend Terrence Slater, who was released from a prison in upstate New York just a few months ago after spending more than a year in solitary, it's a memory that never really goes away. If you sit in your cell and you worried about the time, you're gonna lose your mind in there. Cause then you start thinking about what this person is doing. How's your family? How's your daughter? And you can't help but think about it. But you try to limit the amount of time that you focus on that by doing all these different things, puzzles, all type of stuff in there. Get soap, start making figurines out of the soap. You don't know what it's like to be in that cell. You don't know what it's like to hear people screaming, mad. This isn't something that we could easily just take a pill and erase. Often, I dream, I have dreams of Officers coming in my cell. Two major things happen in solitary. One, sensory deprivation, right? Where you have no sound, 
where you have sight, where you have limited abilities to run and articulate your brain. There's also another thing, which is human validation, which plays a big part. Imagine being in your cell and the only person who can give you toilet tissue, bread, water, food, medical services, everything that you need down to a shower. Imagine those services and those things done by somebody who's trained to ignore you. Does it feel different? A year in than it felt at the beginning? Does, totally. does it feel Your does body's it... deteriorated. Your facial hair annoys you. You don't know what your face looks like. You get so tired of talking to yourself, you start talking in your head. Solitary is strategically set up so that human beings trapped in cages next to other human beings can't have a system of communication. Absolutely. Every cell is not diagonally across from each other, it's on an angle. In order for you to kind of hear a person clearly, you go to the corner of the door. So now I could talk to you from my corner of the door across to your corner of your door. You're talking about like literally the... Literally the edge of the door. Like I'm like, hey, hey, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing? Because I got to so say it twice. So that your voice can travel. So my voice can travel. I say it twice, right? <laughs> but it becomes a part of, uh, sad to say, it's like a part of my, I still say things twice. Even when I'm talking, I reconfirm it with another way of saying it articulately. It grows on you. People say, you know, oh, you're a survivor. Like, no, I'm not. nobody survives solitary. Now that shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. Uh, Robert Sylvester Kelly, once again, has been in solitary confinement for over 30 days. This man hasn't been convicted of a crime. He hasn't even probably had a fucking ticket in there. I do remember the one ticket of uh, the roommate issue. But if you're going to put a man in solitary confinement, like they El Chapo or I. In this case, new article just released. New article just released, right? Uh, let me get it to y'all. Let me get it to y'all. Oh, once again, anybody that got the video footage of Tim Savage today uh, over Larry House trying to search his house, please e email me at GearSerious at Ymail. If you have the footage of uh, Tim Savage and uh, Larry House trying to search his house, please email me that footage. It just might get you some love. Now... Chicago gang pin, I mean, Chicago gang kingpin, Larry Hoover, bad behavior could keep him from cutting life sentence. Held in the same supermax prison where El Chapo is locked up, the gangster disciple kingpin wants a break under the first step act that Kanye West championed. Chicago gang kingpin Larry Hoover has been locked up for nearly a quarter of a century at the Federal Supermax Prison in Florence, Colorado, a modern-day Alcatraz that also holds the likes of El Chapo Guzman and the Unabomber. The prison is known for its harsh discipline, and the one-time kingpin of the gangster disciple has gotten in serious trouble and a, a serious trouble a few times, according to federal prosecutors, who now who now have made the details of those disciplinary violations public in the effort to keep Hoover from getting a break on his life sentence. Hoover has been accused of holding down an inmate while another inmate punched him for eight minutes, using a secret code to communicate with fellow gang members, threatening to set fires and floods, prison cells to give fellow gang members a better recreation space, in a court filing in Chicago, prosecutors say Hoover bad behavior behind bars is one reason for U.S. District Judge Harry 
Lynn Weber, y'all. Same judge is Uncle Rob. Uh, has to make the decision on whether Larry Hoover gets this first step act. It goes on to say, Judge Harry Lynn Weber to deny his request for a reduction in his life sentence under the Federal First Step Act, the law signed by President Donald Trump in 2018, with encouragement from Chicago's own Kanye West, allows inmates to take advantage of court rulings and changes in the law since they were sent to prison to seek a reduced sentence. Two of Hoover's top lieutenants and the gangster disciple, Johnny Crusher Jackson and William Edwards, have been released from prison under the First Step Act. Hoover's former number two in the game, Gregory, Shorty G, Shells, also is seeking a sentence reduction. Hoover was sent to state prison in 1973, given a 200-year sentence for ordering the killing of a gang member. 200-year sentence? Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? He suspected, he suspected was stealing from him. But he continued to run his game from prison. At one time, the game crew grew to up to 30,000 members and was selling more than 100 million in drugs a year, officials say. In 1997, he was sentenced to life in federal prison for running a criminal enterprise. If he were to get out the federal prison as a result of his current appeal, he would have to serve out his state murder sentence with the Illinois Department of Corrections and court papers filed Friday, federal prosecutors opposed Hoover's appeal, saying he has shown signs of trying to run the game from inside the federal supermax prison in Colorado. They also said he isn't the model prisoner. He claims to be. Prosecutors call Hoover the most notorious gang leader in Chicago, modern history. Simply put, Reducing Hoover's sentence to anything less than life imprisonment would send shockwaves through the community. The prosecutor's filing said gang members will be uh, embryolized and the rest of the community will worry that Hoover's return to Illinois Department of Corrections, which means that this man, only he ain't even asking to get on the street. He just asking to get out of confinement. Uh uh, Illinois Department of Correction Custody, where he remains subject to a life sentence for murder, puts him back in position from which he directed. Hello? What? Hola? Who the fuck that was? Make sure I block that now. That's them people. That's them people. Yeah. That's dude, Goofy. Yeah. That's, a, that's them people. Block that shit. Mm hmm. 100 devices, y'all. 100 devices. Now back to the story. A department of custody where he remains subject to a life sentence for murder, puts him back in position where he, which he directed the gang's operation for decades. According to the prison records that prosecutors put in the court filing, Hoover threatened to start fires and flood cells in the federal prison in Indiana unless officials allowed his fellow inmates from Chicago to congregate in a large recreation cage. Hoover denied he was planning a demonstration. Then at Colorado Supermax, prosecutor said Hoover was caught on video in 1997, restraining one inmate. Damn, they bringing up shit from 1997 to keep this man from leaving a federal Supermax prison and just going to a regular prison after being locked up over 30 fucking years. Uh, and restraining an inmate while another punched him in the face and torso for eight minutes. They said the attacker can be seen on video reaching for a drain where a homemade knife was later recovered. As a result of the attack, Hoover lost his TV and commissary privilege for a few months. In 2015, officials at the Colorado Supermax said they discovered Hoover and a fellow gang member in the prison 
were communicating with Marianne Webster, Pocket Dictionary, they had in their cells, they the officials found codes and in the other inmate cell and were able to decipher one message to Hoover. It said, Chief, this code is very important. Whenever we see a word with a small dash in front, we don't count that word. We only count the word that is the farthest over to the left. We also count every single letter. Only we know this code. Nobody else does. We communicate in plain sight. I am ready to handle your business. Again, Hoover lost a few months of commissary privilege for the infraction. Uh, your admission that you were planning to communicate is clearly an admission to attempt to engage in misconduct described. Prison officials said in the memo. Also in 2015, Hoover also asked a visitor to send him information about gangster disciple members he suspected were cooperating with law enforcement. Prosecutors said, and they said a visitor discussed starting a clothing line called Gentlemen of Distinguished Nature, a reference to the Gangster Disciple Nation. Uh, it is believed that the M.A. Hoover is attempting to run, control, and guide the actions of the GD organization from inside ADX. A prison official wrote referring to the Supermax in Colorado in 2017. Hoover got in trouble for telling a visitor about the need to republish the blueprint which the gang distributed in 1995 to promote growth and development. Hoover said he wanted the blueprint handed out to children. Prison officials said he was guilty of gang communication, but Hoover said he was simply discussing a publication whose purpose is to move the youth away from gang mentality. Hoover noted that the U.S. Representative Bobby Rush of Illinois visited him in prison in 2016 and that they discussed the blueprint. He came to me and asked for any input that I could offer in A of stemming the violence in Chicago, Hoover wrote. Just, Justin Moore of the Hoover's lawyers has said that the state prison would be a better place for Hoover than the Supermax in Colorado, which described as the worst prison in the country. They won't even let this man leave one prison and just go to the next prison. That's crazy. He can't leave one prison just to go to the next prison. They like the motherfucking asking to get out. Shit. You away from games. Uh... Who was that I just seen in there? Where you at? Hey, I got it. Uh, his queen only. Welcome on back to the Chitty Chat Chat. You know, we on our third channel. Subscribe to the Backup channel. Uh, Nine o'clock. Uh, the premiere of Don Russell the Muscle will drop. Uh, on my second channel at 10 in the morning. Uh, a playback of other videos will drop. And I will have a third channel uh, dropping as well. So that way, I will be on the internet all day. You can find me anywhere. Uh, yeah, pretty soon. Don't forget this. His queen only, just in case uh, you don't know. Uh, as soon as the quarantine is over, uh, be sure to go and see the new movie, My Secret Life, starring the Nene. It's coming soon. Uh, it's about a man that's in search of his father, as well as uh, his self and his sexuality. I'm hearing that it's a good movie, you know. My Secret Life, starring none other than the Nene. Uh, and if you haven't been aware, I have a personal stalker who don't understand the meaning of not interested. Uh, in fact, this personal stalker of mine is the reason that my page was taken down I'm pretty sure that this vile individual will pat themselves on the back. However, if you are subscribed to this goofy, make sure you unsubscribe 
And uh, anytime you see her on a YouTube rant, please be sure to screen record it. Y'all know how this go. 30 rounds. Uh, hit them like buttons for me, though. That way I can know who's who before we continue on. Okay. Okay. I can see. See, it's a few stalkers over here. A few stalkers over here. You might as well come on out them bushes. Put your hands up. Come on out them bushes. Put your hands up and come on out them bushes. Miami Day 305. What happened? Yeah, come on out them, them, them bushes. Neck bone. Come on out them bushes. Do you think that we phased? We ain't phased. We ain't lose nothing. We got every video. Uh, in fact, we're going to be premiering uh, one of them at nine, followed by another one on my backup channel uh, at 10 in the morning, followed by me right back here at, uh, you know, sometime between one and three. And then on my third channel, uh, videos that I have to address neck bone and the rest of these people that refuse to get up off my coattail. I dropped that in the third channel. So it's going to be something premiering basically from d mm -hmm. on YouTube every five hours or so. 30 rounds. 30 mother boogie rounds. So make sure you uh subscribe to uh every page. I also seen... Uh, the one lady over there, uh, what it is, passionate wankster, whatever the fuck. Now, you uh, have a problem with me holding uh, a possession uh, that belongs to Robert Sylvester Kelly. However, it was in his friend's possession, and his friend uh, is fully aware that Uncle Rob knows that Deep Bosky is uh, out here doing what he do, speaking his opinion. Yeah. You know, everything get back to everybody. He even got back to uh, Angel Cruz. She's speaking about it. So you know how this shit go. I'm just glad I ain't catch the negative light. But I'll tell you this, though, right? Bozo was the motherfucker in the courthouse doing a little standoff with Shabazz. Regardless of what who started it, he was the motherfucker that went to the courtroom beating on his chest and all the other goofy ass shit. He was the loudest one, uh, regardless of the dude who started it. Then you follow that up with now your name in the indictment, uh, in the motion. You know what I'm saying? And they try to tell me that I'm a problem when I'm not even mentioning none of this shit. And I better not be either. Mm -hmm. Why would I? Why the fuck would I? Now, for all the people that felt like I worked for uh, Don Russell, you can clearly see at 9 o'clock tonight, uh, the introduction. The introduction of two grown men. You know what I'm saying? And I have our respect for Don Russell. As well as Will Eady. Uh, Will Eady is a stand up guy, in case you didn't know. Uh, definitely not that shit that Tasha K said. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to Texas Black Diamond. Uh, she's in the chat. Uh, Texas Black Diamond. I heard uh, them informers got on, got on your bumper. I hope you backed up everything that you uh, had. And. Upload them all again. Why not? The crazy thing is, when people do this, you reach a different diagram every time. You know what I'm saying? Them steppers, they gonna come back every time. Them steppers, they gonna come back. But in the midst of the steppers coming back, you pull some new free-thinking people in, 
who may be on the jury. And if you have the opportunity to be on this jury and you came across information here at the Enterprise, vote Robert Sylvester Kelly not guilty. Once again, for those just tuning in, Robert Sylvester Kelly has been in the cell in solitary confinement for over 30 days. For over 30 days. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They got Texas Black Diamond and pretty much anybody else. So now when I see these people on platforms uh, that's all monetized people are uh, basically clicking up for what? Not me. Not the guy who ain't even monetized. Not the guy who just came on YouTube. You feel me? Why would people with bigger platforms run down the hill for somebody who ain't got a big platform? And even if I don't got a big platform, my video is still going to reach more than uh, subscribed. However, I'm surprised that I'm damn near at a thousand and fucking this is my second time going live on here. So, yeah, it's crazy. It really is. Keep subscribing, y'all. Keep on subscribing. You know? Mm hmm I wonder what I'm being reported for now. Shit. Yeah, they keep messing with the real supporters. Why acting like they supporters? This is a dirty game. Uh, click up with your enemy to uh, take out uh, somebody that's going in the same direction as you. Even if we ain't on the same team, we in the same direction. So why would you click up with the enemy? Uh, as you know, Larry and uh, Bozo took down my first page. Uh, Bozo in a quote unquote third party took down my second page. My third page was took down by Bozo and Neckbone. Yeah, but we're still stepping. The good thing is all uh, prior videos was backed up in those 100 devices. And we'll be premiering throughout the day on various YouTube channels. Uh, I have two now. Hopefully I have a third by, by the time this is over with. Hey, do you think I'll have that third one by the time it's over? I think I have that third one by the time this so. So yeah, on this channel at night, you can see uh, a recap of the interview with Don Russell. On my second channel, you can see a recap of videos that was taken down since I'm able to get my videos back, all of my videos. Uh, and I will be just dropping them in the morning. And then on my third channel, I'll be dropping uh, stuff as well. So you will be basically like, once again, Seeing Debowski on on YouTube like every eight hours or so. Yeah, like every eight hours, I'll be on that motherfucker. And when I ain't on there, uh, Tyson uh, recaps it. Uh, all that shit will be on there as well. So I'm going to be on the internet all day. All day. Uh, and you're right, Trevin. Bozo is the common denominator. And it's funny how... They team up uh, with the bozo, which make me feel like when a lot of this talk is about cash apps, cash apps, cash apps, cash apps, it make me feel like these people really need it and their cash apps are being affected. So are their views and subscribers by fresh blood, new talent, and they keep calling themselves veteran bloggers. If you're a veteran blogger, uh, I don't see a motherfucker like Willie D uh, running down uh, to the enterprise trying to stop me and all this other shit uh, because he's a veteran blog. It don't it don't even make sense at all. Uh, it's just flat out jealous. That's it. That's all. I ain't no way around. It's just flat out jealous. You know, if if, if I can't win with him, then I just want to take him out. And that shit happened a lot in the street. 
That shit happened a lot in the street. Motherfuckers be on that. If I can't, if I can't eat with you, then motherfucker might want to eat with you. They might be a cool guy, but you don't know they ass. So you like, shit, I don't know you. I ain't trying to eat with you. And they be like, well, he trying to hog it all for itself. He feel this way and will take you out of here. Get you gone. All because you ain't break bread with them as a stranger. You know what I'm saying? Crazy ass world we living in. It really is. Uh, I'm just trying to bring awareness that Robert Sylvester Kelly is currently inside of solitary confinement. He has been in there 30 days. This is a man not convicted of any crimes, nor has he uh, been in solitary confinement before. You can't just be taking uh, people off the street and then sticking them in solitary confinement. It's not good for the body, and it's definitely not good for the mind. It really ain't. Uh, if you don't believe it, how about this? Imagine being locked in a prison cell. I can't tell you how long I laid there, you know. It seemed like an eternity. Six foot by nine, for 23 hours a day. You know, I wake up uh, soaking wet, sweating some time. For decade after decade. I just feel as though you're being squeezed to death. Now imagine doing all of that alone. It is a reality for tens of thousands of prisoners in America, where solitary confinement is common. Inside this prison in Louisiana, Albert Woodfox endured isolation for almost all of the 43 years he was behind bars. But now, he is finally able to relish his freedom. You know, uh, I'm trying to buy a house. He is not bitter, but he is angry and scarred by what he saw. It don't get no darker than watching a man go insane in the cell and you fight hard to try to save him and, and lose the battle. I fought, you know, to try to save man we seen going insane. It don't get any darker than that. Yeah, I can't tell you how many men, men that I, you know, form strong bonds of friendship with go insane, you know. In 1972, Wood Fox and another inmate, Herman Wallace, both in prison for armed robbery, were accused of murdering a guard, Brent Miller. There was never any forensic evidence. The men alleged they were being punished for their black activism. And many observers thought there had been a miscarriage of justice. Were you guilty of that murder? Absolutely not. Yeah, I'm absolutely innocent. We were the sacrificial lambs. They had already picked their demons. After years of legal appeals, Wood Fox was finally released in February of this year. His lawyers and supporters were ecstatic. America's longest serving solitary confinement prisoner was suddenly a free man. Ironically, the biggest shock Wood Fox encountered as he re-emerged into a society in turmoil was what has not changed since he was locked up, the fight for justice and racial equality. Yeah, the only difference is when I left, racism was brutal and open in American society. Uh, now nah, it's more subtle. You know, the, uh, racists and bigots in this country use cold words. Wood Fox now has a mission, to speak up for those kept in prolonged isolation. It is immoral to treat another human being the way we do in America and around the world. And we're trying to give voice to those hidden behind the walls of solitary confinement.